you can download Windows 11 virtual machines for free officially. Yeah, it is by the Microsoft. This is the official website. Here you can download the Windows 11 VMs for different softwares and platforms, including for Windows, Linux, and Mac. These VMs are actually made for developers. Uh, if you're like developer who uses Mac or Linux and don't want to use Windows 11, but you still want to you know, develop the apps for Windows, then yeah, this is for you because many of the development tools comes pre-installed in it. But that doesn't mean only developers can use it. Anyone can use it. Whatever the reason you have, you want the Windows 11 virtual machines, this is perfect. This is a pre-installed Windows 11 that you just download and import into your virtual machine softwares like VMware, Hyper-V, VirtualBox, and Parallels. And this offers you the Windows 11 Enterprise Edition. So maybe you want to try out the Windows 11 Enterprise or you want to have the Windows 11 Enterprise. Yeah, you got it. And it also comes pre-activated for three months, I think. After it expires, you may have to download the update or download the updated VMs from this website. So now actually, let's try this out. You can download these VMs for different virtual machine softwares. I use VMware, so I'm gonna click on VMware. It's gonna download the Windows 11 VM, but it's huge. It's over 20 gigabytes. So just in case if you don't have good internet connection, <laughs> then maybe it's not a good idea to try this out. Now these days, almost everybody has good internet connection. I actually already downloaded this, so I'm gonna unzip it. It's a huge file. As I said again, it's 22 gigabyte for VMware. Even the unzipping is going to take some time, over a minute. Now it's unzipped and here we have the actual files for VMware. If you're using like VirtualBox or something else, then the file type might appear differently. Ah, you guys are smart. I don't have to explain how to use these, right? I'm gonna open this with VMware, just like that. If you're using VirtualBox, you're gonna open with VirtualBox. I'm gonna name it and import it, just like that. And I have tested this already. So I know one good thing that it does, that you don't need Microsoft account. It comes with local account. Wow, I didn't expect this from Microsoft. <laughs> I think Microsoft really wants developers to develop the Windows apps if they are using like Mac or Linux. I think most people prefer local account and Microsoft knows it. But still, as you know, in Windows 11, you have to have a Microsoft account to install it. There are ways to bypass that, but still officially in standard way, you have to have a Microsoft account, which is not a good thing. <laughs> okay, these are the settings for Windows 11 VM in VMware and let's run it. You know, if you're using Windows to run a Windows 11 virtual machines, then I think Hyper-V is going to be better choice compared to the VMware because Hyper-V actually works better for Windows 11 VMs. For other things like Linux, Android, or whatever other operating system you use, I think VMware is better. And here we have welcome user. Yeah, it's a local account by default. <laughs> okay, here we are. Let's actually go full screen. And this is the Windows 11. Let's see about the activation. Is it activated? And yes, you may have to run a troubleshoot, but the Windows is activated and it is a Windows 11 Enterprise. If there is a some specific feature in Windows 11 Enterprise that you want to try, I think you got it. Yeah, how is this so clean? There are no ads, no nothing. Usually if you install Windows 11, you would see ton of like apps, useless apps, Facebook, Candy Crush, and many other. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I don't even have to tell you that. But wow, look at this. There are literally no useless apps. <laughs> wow. So there are some developer tools like Visual Studio and Linux, which is WSL. And I don't have the virtualization enabled. For some reason, virtualization is not working in uh, VMware, even though I haven't enabled Hyper-V or any other, you know, virtual machine platforms or anything related to Hyper-V, I haven't enabled it. Still, I can't use the VT. 
I think I should have just used the Hyper-V because as I said again, Hyper-V works better for Windows VMs, Windows 11 or Windows 10. It just works better. I would like to see this clean version of Windows 11 for my system. I would love to use this. And uh, yeah, rest, you know what's up, right? Actually now on, whenever I need the Windows 11 virtual machines for any reason, I think this is actually good. And no bloat, plus everything works, plus it is the Windows 11 Enterprise. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. In my opinion, this is much better than making your own virtual machine using ISO file. Just in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. You can actually tell me in the comment section what you guys think. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.